The three dogs had been alone for days. Jeter, Polly, and Snowy, all of whom appear to be Labrador mixes, were on their own in a house in San Antonio. Their owner, who lived alone with the dogs, was hit by a pickup truck as she was jogging. She was placed in a medically induced coma, and someone had called the City of San Antonio Animal Care Services about the dogs at her house. A complaint was made to the shelter, indicating that there was a trio of dogs that were apparently being neglected, said Lisa Norwood, a public relations manager at the City of San Antonio Animal Care Services. One of our investigators went to the scene and found the dogs, and there were some indications that maybe they had been on their own for a few days. Shelter staff talked with the woman's neighbors, who said they had been doing their best to look after the dogs since the accident in mid-October. Staff learned that the woman adored her pups, and they were also told about the tragic accident. We were able to confirm that yes indeed the dog's mom was still in the hospital, Norwood said, adding that she did not know the woman's prognosis. She was in such a state that she was not going to be coming home anytime soon. The neighbors were not able to take in the dogs. Shelter staff spoke with the woman's sister, who was also unable to care for the animals, and relinquished custody of her sister's dogs on her behalf. After one week of having the dogs at the shelter, and posting the dogs on its website, no one came forward to take them in. So, staff put out a final plea on Facebook October 31st for someone to foster or adopt them. The shelter was over capacity, and the three dogs would be euthanized within a day or so, Norwood said. The dogs seemed fearful and confused at the shelter. These guys were very scared, said Norwood, explaining that the three animals were bonded to one another. They're their own little pack, and one of the members of the pack has gone all of a sudden. The shelter takes in more than 30,000 animals per year, and usually has hundreds of animals at a time. The shelter is often over capacity. We never want to euthanize an animal. That is never the end goal, Norwood said, adding that staff held out hope somebody would come forward and take the three dogs, or hold on to them and return them to their original owner. Animal shelters across the country have become overwhelmed with strays and surrendered pets since the pandemic. We are doing everything we can, Norwood said. We beg the public every time we have animals that are at imminent risk of euthanasia. Missy Brown saw the plea on Facebook. Why wouldn't I help? Said Brown, who has two dogs of her own, and is a disabled veteran. I have the opportunity to avoid a tragedy and alleviate some suffering when their owner does recover. The Facebook post drew hundreds of comments and shares, but only a few people expressed interest in taking one or more of the dogs home.